Okay, so I've been studying uh, different formats uh, quite a bit the last two years. And uh, I just wanted to uh, list some pros and cons about different formats. If you use vinyl, um, the pros with that are, I think vinyl sounds very good and it sounds better than CDs if you have a good player um, and a good um, um, pickup. And you, you can always um, listen for a long while to vinyl. I think it's uh, soft on the ears. And some cons about vinyl is that you have to um, you have to realize that it's kind of a gamble with the different copies of records. That some pressings are not going to sound very good, and some are going to sound really good. Uh, so um, that's definitely uh, something that uh, might piss you off from time to time. You might buy a, a, a expensive pressing of a record, and it may not sound very good. And that, that can uh, make, make you a bit angry. But I, I'd say that uh, going to thrift shops and uh, stuff like that to buy vinyl is always a good uh, option. It's not really worth buying uh, vinyl for uh, $100 dollars and up. Uh, I'd definitely download a vinyl rip instead for free if that was the case, or I would buy uh, HD tracks uh, version like a 2496 uh, computer file of it. Um, although vinyl does, uh, even when it's ripped, sound better to me uh, than uh, 2496 files. It sounds smoother, not as hard on the ears. I like the distortion that it creates uh, since it uh, to me it sounds uh, better. This is of course uh, a question of, um, of taste, That's, this is just my taste, it, it has uh, little to do with actual uh, uh, sound quality in numbers, but I don't think you should go that much for, for that, you should go for personal preference. If you think a CD sounds better than a vinyl, then that's your preference and that can't be wrong really. So, uh, if you listen to CDs, they still sound very good. If you compare it to something like Spotify streaming, they will sound much better. Um, so that's a real pro. If you have a good player, um, it, I find that a CD sounds better than on my CD player from Pioneer than it does on my MacBook. Um, if, it, if the CD is the source. Uh, it definitely sounds better than streaming, as I stated. Um, then we have um, a, a big uh, pro about buying a CD player is that you can get really good players from the 90s for almost no money. I mean, I, I bought my Pioneer Elite for uh, 50 euros. And uh, this also goes for vinyl. Um, you can buy a dual player 1218 and put a, a Nagwaka stylus uh, needle, uh, for instance, in, a sh in the shore cartridge that comes with it. And you will have a good system. Um, if you want to enhance and have a better um, stylus cartridges than that, that's also possible, of course. And there I recommend uh, warmly getting an orthophone bronze uh, or blue. Uh, I think they sound very good. And it's not really, um, there's really no use buying uh, more expensive than blue really, because it's it already is so good. But if you really want to push it, you can go for bronze or black. Um, there's also other options, of course, you can get um, a lot of different styluses for turntables, so I'll kind of leave it at that. But that's just some uh, beginner's advice from what I've tried tried out. I've owned uh, Orthophone Bronze and uh, I, I currently own an Orthophone Blue as well, along with my Shure M75 uh, cartridge that I'm using because it's uh, light enough to use on my player. Um, 
Then uh, you get um, the streaming format. And uh, they are also getting there. Um, I think uh, one revolutionary thing that uh, Steve Guttenberg stated in, in his last video, I'll link it below, is uh, that you now can buy a Dragonfly uh, converter. Um, or what, what you would call it, it doesn't really have any buttons or anything. It's not a player, it's just, it just takes the sound from your smartphone and makes it as good as, as it's supposed to sound. Um, and uh, you, um, this is really revolutionary because for the first time then you can, you can stream and download to your phone uh, high res 2496 uh, files from Tidal. And this is uh, really cool because they sound amazing. I mean, they sound uh, as good as SACD's uh, Blu-ray audio or uh, or um, um, yeah, as good as that, but for streaming. Or uh, if you would have downloaded to a separate player, you don't need a separate player anymore. You can just go with smartphone and still get high res sound, which is pretty revolutionary. So I'm definitely looking into buying one of those for my iPhone just uh, to get the most out of Tidal. I think it's very good that you can have CD quality streaming from Tidal. Uh, at this uh, instance, it's uh, still uh, a lot better than uh, Spotify's 20 kilobits per second stream. Um, to compare, I'd say that the, I mean it's uh, about three times better than Spotify, the Tidal stream. So, um, and uh, of course, twenty four ninety six is a lot better than CD. Um, when you get used to that, you're gonna think that CD sounds uh, a lot worse than uh, if you compare it to streaming. Uh, so, um, yeah, the, those were my views on different formats. So as you can see. Um, I mean, uh, there's a few more cons. I mean, CDs can get scratches and they can, um, um, that can affect uh, the sound very badly and uh, the same with vinyl and they can get dirty. The, the thing with the uh, files, of course, is that you have none of that and that's a really big pro for uh, computer file playing or streaming. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think, um, um, it, it will be really interesting to see how uh, how uh, influential it will be with the high res streaming and if that will be a new standard um, I mean streaming uh, really blew up a lot and uh, if if you really care about good sound quality you have to go through some lengths and uh, invest more to to get that but uh, you, you get a richer experience from the records that I really appreciate I mean you could also argue that you could just be satisfied with, with solutions like Spotify uh, or uh, just streaming without higher resolution and uh, that will be fine and and that's not a very bad um, um, way of seeing it either just have to decide if it's worth the hassle for you or not so um yeah it's it's um it's to each his own i guess and uh you just uh, realize that you can uh, it's not always what you pay the most for that will give you the most value and that's i think that's pretty cool uh since you want much bang for the buck and i also really support steve guttenberg on this uh on this fact uh, that he, I mean, hi-fi should be for everybody, not uh, only the ones who can cough up the most dough. So, um, I mean, a great example of that is the Elec B5 speakers um, by Andrew Jones. Uh, they go for uh, very little used and uh, new, they were only uh, 250 euros, which is a uh, total steal for speakers as good as these. And, um, the only uh, con would be if you have, uh, um, uh, you want uh, greater highs, then these speakers are uh, very good uh, low register speakers. But what you can do is you can just put the EQ 
on um, full uh, treble and that will also change it for the better. So if you don't want to bassy of a sound you can just do that or you can just let them be what they are and be really bassy sounding speakers. But I definitely recommend checking out some some uh, KEF um, Q15s or 150 uh, KEF um, Q7s are also really good. You can find them used for uh, very little, like 100 uh, euros. And uh, there's no reason to buy like the latest uh, model of a speaker because there are so many good older speakers that really uh, stand the test of time really well. So if you are looking to buy something, I, I'd say definitely buy some used stuff to begin with if you don't have a really large budget and definitely don't uh, put down down payment on expensive gear because they will only lose value as a car does so um, that would be my advice for the somebody just getting into audio um, but I'm always exploring I don't see myself an, as an expert I see myself as an explorer because nobody really is an expert and uh, I'm definitely not a snob when it comes to anything. I just want uh, people to appreciate music. It's just funny with uh, there's a lot of myth building when it comes to um, looking at uh, <laughs> how my ears think stuff sounds and how some people that haven't really listened uh, or tried to listen to the differences think something sounds. And I mean, you can always argue that some things sound uh, very similar, but you can also argue that they sound better or worse. It's, it's just a um, point of, it's just a matter of personal re preference, really. So with that, I leave you. Hope you uh, can comment below about uh, formats a bit, uh, what you think the pros and cons are of, of uh, CD, SACD, uh, using a streamer, using a computer, using vinyl, what do you prefer? Uh, do you prefer uh, them for different reasons and do you like uh, having different formats in your system?